Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Mortuary Assistant. Uh, we're going for maybe the fourth ending. It has something to do with the code, I think. I'm not sure, but one of the comments said I was heading on the right track, so let's see if uh, I'm on the right track. So, this might be the ending four or one of the other two. I'm not sure what those would be at all. I don't know if I just, I mean, we've already done the fail, the two, well, succeeds. And then this one here would be what are the code is for. Okay. So does anything actually ever change in here? Like, is there like going to be a face in a drawer or something? It's still the same. Oh, I like the game logo. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah, let's just go. Happy tofu. Okay. All right, off to work we go. Another fun-filled night of horrors. <laughs> okay. All right, so I don't know if we do a body or if we just go straight to the giant to do the code. I don't know if this is important. I'm going to take it. Is this still missing? This was missing a fuse. Hmm. I'm going to put the fuse in, even though I don't know what it does. Take the radio. I don't really use it anymore, though. But we might find a new tape for all I know. So let's do a bot. Keep track of things. D. Let's do a body. Why not? Start the night off right. Everything ready. No, I didn't want that. Did I pick it up. No. Okay. Why am I trying to? Oh, it's different. Oh, they move stuff. That's where the moisturizers are. Okay. There's nothing in there anymore. There's a keypad. Setting needles are up there now. Pro cars are there. Scalpels. Alright, there's my humectant. Probably it looks like formaldehyde down there. Wait, those are his keys to I need that. Let's take it anyway. The mortuary. Where is he? Is he here? Where's the key things? All right. Let's go get us a uh, first uh, client. Let's see who we got. We got uh, Timothy Galvin. Galvin? Yeah. Uh, Suzanne Hampton. Jake Collier. All right, Jake, you'll be the first guy, I think. We'll just do one, then we'll do the key. And then we'll see what we gotta, not the key, the, the, the keypad thing. I already know the key goes to, right? What did that go to? I actually forget what the key went to. The old key we just pulled out of the newspaper. Come on. There we go. All right, Jake, let's go. Oh, you got a little uh, skin issue on your forehead, I see there. That sucks. 
get a cream for that. Actually, I got some moisturizing wipes for you. That might work. Looking good there. And on your back. And there. Oh, more. Whatever that is. There we go. You just wait there, fill out your little report. All right, name Jake. Oh, he's only 36. He looks older. Ooh, man. Blemishes, straight shoulder, left arm, and our left leg. Four, one, two, three, four. Oh, well, scared about a piece of paper. That was fast. Yeah. All right, so we got a weird three. I don't know if I'm gonna need these. I don't know what this ending entails, but I'm gonna write it down just in case. The weird three again. Okay. All right, now we did that. So now we got to do the wiring. Where was that stuff? There's all the things over there. I caps. And oh, there's those. Okay. Side? What was that? Oh, it's just a reflection. Okay. Light reflection. Like, is there a wire hanging out of his mouth? Hold on. All right. Who knocked? Walter White, is that you? Does it make that reference? Alright, next up, we gotta do our bowling stuff. This is formaldehyde down here. Yeah. The humectant. Uh, that's the bleach. Oh, over here. Bluteride. I'm not saying that right, but we're gonna go with it. Oh! Okay. Oh no. What are you? Oh. The hell was that? Now we gotta do his neck. What was that? What was the weird arm thing? Scalpel, there it is. And I need the uh, hoses over here.
There it is. Yeah, it's a weird D type thing. I saw the molding. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, your stomach stuff. Where was? Where are the I those fluid bags? Oh, down there. You know, this is so horrible. They should actually have everything where the same spot. Why would you move it around? Okay. Alright, no one do anything. Ooh. I don't know why with this. I never actually noticed the fat down here. It actually makes me a little queasy. Is it just because this guy's a bigger guy and you can see it better? There we go. There we go. Sure. Cleaners. Oh, I need another piece of paper. Hold on. I'm actually getting the sigils quite quickly today, aren't I? Check the the drawer room real quick. No, okay. Put that away. All right, gotta clean up the thing, my bob. What is this called? I don't know. Well, let's let's do the code a while. All right, so it was. One nine seven oh four four. Ooh, a, a hatch key. Is this where the the thing out back? The basement. Okay, we'll check that out as soon as when we're done with uh, Jake here. Mushers over here. that up a little bit in your nose and lips I get right. those okay you're good to go buddy pretty sure you're not the problem tonight you're being very very sneaky the door next to me, I wonder. Shake away. Put that there for now. And let's go see what's in the basement, shall we? This is probably going to be horrible. I did pick up my match, right? All right. I don't know if it's important, but I want my match. And it's dark down here, it's my only light source. Ooh. Can't close it. What is this? This is storage, but... Small hammer, take it. Sure. Oh, May 28th, 1983. 
I'm not sure why I've decided to write this. I don't keep journals, but it may be the only way I can deal with what's happened. To get my thoughts out, I thought this was... I thought this was over, but it's happened to David. I remember so vividly what it looks like. I don't have any plan here. I just wanted to write. Okay. June 3rd, 1983. I keep thinking about David. I feel horrible. What he became was terrifying. I remember everything, but I haven't seen a in, it in a living person before. Words. I knew in my gut what was happening, but I couldn't believe it. It's been almost two decades. This has going on for two decades? When the body came in, David almost instantly began to become irritable. We both knew something strange was happening, but it directly affected him. We felt sick and went home for the day, only to return that evening saying that he felt he had to come back and wanted to work. At that point, I couldn't ignore it. I tried to tell him he was in danger. That this was all real. He insisted on working, became irrational again, and asked to work alone. I again told him what to look for, but he dismissed me. I went and bought a camcorder and told him to at least record everything unusual. I wanted to be able to show him once he was in a moment of clarity, so that maybe he would allow me to help him, but it all happened so fast and was over. April 3rd, 1985. I don't know what else to do. I feel helpless. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, James. August 10th, 1985. Andrea now. It won't stop. I don't know what to do. Obviously, not everyone is susceptible. I've learned that much. It makes me want to never hire anyone again, but I can't lose the morning mortuary either. Even if I did close it, it would still happen to me eventually. November 16th, 1987. So nice. Yeah. I'm back to writing here again. It's been so long... I thought it was over, but I guess I've been lucky. I'm scared. I was hoping this would never happen again, but I have a feeling this is the only going to happen more. Poor Angela, this is a horrible experience. existence. Okay, this is really weird. I almost fell victim before. It's only a matter of time now until it chooses me. I don't want to be alone, but I think there is no escaping what happened. I will miss you always, Maria, but it's the right thing to do, right thing to leave you. To keep you safe. I know you never understand. February 22nd, 1989. Okay, okay so it's about every two years, it looks like. I took this journal away and forgot about it, trying to move on. I found it again today, and I guess I've been in a horrible place for a while now. I can't live with all this guilt. I feel so alone. I feel so angry at the life that's been taken from me. I stopped my life to take care of her, and she brought this in. Oh, why'd it get bigger? I can't blame her. That is not fair. It's not her fault. I have to find a way to stop this myself. I've been sitting here huddled in fear, hoping this won't happen again, that it won't happen to me. I don't have much money, but I need to start researching this in a real way. I need to take control. Okay. I'm missing something. Clay. Hey. What's this? Oh, so he makes the clay tablets down here. Huh. Oh, another one. March 27, 1989. So when did... Hold on, when did this one end? February. Oh, so this one is a direct continuation of that one. I've been working relentlessly, and I believe I have made some progress. I haven't pieced together much... Hold on. I haven't pieced together much, but I found enough that has led me to a contact in Egypt. I'm flying out there if you, in a few days to meet and talk about what's been happening. April 29th. Almost exactly a month. My trip to Egypt was extremely successful, I feel. I'm broke now, but it was worth it. Mr. Salah is an amazing help. I've come back with mountains of documents and copies of religious texts I had no idea existed. It's changed a lot of what I believe. I'm going to start pouring over these and see what I can piece together. There's something here. I can feel it. December. I'm so tired and angry. I feel so helpless. I can't do this anymore. Valerie didn't do anything to deserve this. None of them did. I can't bring myself to do it. I'm keeping Valerie here. I can help her. I'm sure of it. I feel like I'm so close to something that I can, can stop this, but I don't know what I'm missing. I've been working on a number of things meant to combat these entities. I have found a way to uncover their sigils, which is promising. I've distilled this down to a science. I know I can find the missing piece. I will help you, Valerie. 
Who's Valerie? I hate what I have to do. Did I just hear something behind me? No. I had to feed her and care for her even though she is violent and gone. It is far too similar to how this all began and I hate it. God damn it. 30 years of this. 30 years? Oh, well, I guess, yeah, it's been quite a while. Um, I have a theory and I don't like it, but I can't let this happen to anyone else. This has to stop. I have some things I've been working on that I'm going to send off to Mr. Salah and get his opinion. If it is viable method, I'm going to take it this head on. If I can't stop it, I'll keep it at bay. Uh, I received some great news from Mr. Salah. I've been fortunate to not have to deal with another compromised body up to this point, but now I need one. My plan now is to work in the mortuary alone until this happens again. If I can establish myself as a potential conduit to survive the possession using these tools, I think I'm able to take control as well and keep it, this from happening to others. I don't know what this means for Valerie. It's the only piece of this I don't know how to, do, how to live with. But I might have to otherwise. It's all been for nothing. All right. What is this? Oh, it worked. What are we doing? I can't. I can't use that. I can't use that here. Oh. Well, that's a crappy lock, isn't it? Is that a door or is it just wood? Wood. Recording briefcase. Skin. Probably not there now. What? What happened? What happened? What's this one? 
These papers sketched in Mark Sigil's notes. Ash inside body. Blood and body. Blood and body. Oh, ball cutters. Alright. Cool. I'll take them. What was this one? A piece of paper drawing of various houses of demonic connectives. I haven't seen this before. Oh, this is 1966. All right, so what is this one over here? 77. Yeah, let's start with the 66. Um, I'm lost. Everything I thought I believed, everything I've been told has been wrong. They came here so certain they could end it all. I All I've learned is that no religion fully understands the demonic. Every single one has distilled their version of the devil down to simple concepts meant to scare those with no moral compass to be into behaving. No intention of truly... Combating this evil, cowards. They failed, abandoned me, and left me with no choice but to deal with my, this myself. I'm tired of being scared. I'm tired of being alone. I've put up with enough of this. I have one new hope left, and I'm going to use it to finally start my life, and I hope you suffer. Oh, nice. Nice way to end that. Uh, school has been so much better. I'm finally doing well again and happy to be back. However, even with the life, even with life finally being the best it has been, it still eats at me. She was horrible and the worst thing in my life so for so long, but I still can feel it. I suppose it's best for me to be alone for now. At least the dead don't talk anymore. Well, it's true. No. Unless you work here. Uh, this won't work anymore. It's gotten too dangerous and I am far too close to keep doing this. I need another way. There must be a use for these symbols. Everything else seems to be structured that way, so it makes sense. If they can be forced out, there must be another way to call them forward before burning them. What little I've been able to find leads me to believe that the four symbols represent different sects of demons. There seems to be a hierarchy here. Three that are subservient to the one. I think these three are the key to what I've been looking for. It's been here the whole time. Going back over all of it, blood and ash have always played a role. It's part of the binding that takes place and should have been obvious to me from the start of this. A symbol of the demon sect to define it. Blood and ash of the possessed to bind it. Blood and ash of the possessed. I should be able to create something with this to send them back. If I could burn them all together, I think I found another way. It's done. It's done and it works. This is the closest that I have ever come to hell. It feels sloppy, but it works. The symbol of the demon sect carved into a plank of wood with blood and ash. Burning these at the same time as the body, the demon has to choose, has chosen, will banish it. This is a very dangerous approach, but it's better than the alternative. I wouldn't have lasted long. I think it's time to better understand all of this. Okay. Is that everything in here? I think so. Uh, oh, look. Oh, it's right here. Oh, you're out there. Oh, hello. Oh, I knew you'd find me. I was alone and I'm scared. Please, please help me. Oh, I'm scared. Didn't you hear me? Oh, that's where he gets his stuff. Oh. Help me! Get me the fuck out of here! Oh, look at this. Who are you now? Yes, yes. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Is Raymond here? Do you see what he's doing? Who could do this to someone? I think you should let me out. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Tear out your fucking eyes! I'm going to cut you open. And stuff the burning embers of this fucking building. You will change your bed for death. Oh. I don't know how to let you out. Wait! Wait! I'm here. Oh god, please. Please don't leave me. I can't do this anymore. 
Do I got to let her to get out? Or... Next. He just wants to save his own fucking skin. Please. I'm guessing the bowl cutters There's is for that. Still time for both of us, Rebecca. How Find do you know my name? A way to let me out. You just need to open the lock. Raymond keeps the key with him. him. You need something to cut, cut it, it off. off. You're just gonna... Yeah. Oh, you actually... Oh, weird. Their eyes actually... Follow me? It seems like a bad idea, but I'm locked in here. All right. Wait! Wait! Wait, wait, wait. You can't open it yet. It's too dangerous. It's still... Here. It's still outside. You need to take this mark and burn it with the possessed body instead. Once the other demon is gone, you can let me out and we can leave together. Okay. Please. Okay. I can't hold anything else. Okay, I guess I'll leave these here. Thank you. Oh, you know, I bet you that that fuse. Oh, that's how I unlocked the door because of the fuse. That makes sense. I didn't miss anything in here. I don't think so. Okay. So we gotta go find our our body. Okay. That might be doable. Right, who we got? Uh, Suzanne. Let's uh check you out. Been a while. Am I crazy? Not too bad, actually. Well, I don't need to do that anymore because I'm burning the sigil that I have on me. Apparently. All right. How you doing, Susie? Probably not good. You're here. Why do I keep asking that? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I think I do that. I think I ask stupid questions when I'm like nervous. <laughs> I'm realizing that now with this game, especially. There we go. Oh, she doesn't have any weird marks on her. Like, no upside down crosses like our guy from the last time. Entry two. Suzanne? Only 24, wow, that's sad. Uh, right shoulder. Left arm, left leg. Four, one, two, three, four. Age, yeah, okay. I don't trust her though. I can't hold anything else. All right, so can I drop it? Okay, so it'll be right there. Because the last time I had to put it in the the cabinet over there. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't funny, Susie.
that really got me. And I had nothing, my hands are off of the key or anything. <laughs> What am I doing now? I got a... Uh, your neck. Okay, I gotta do your neck. Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm doing your teeth. That's right. I always... Get them mixed up a little bit. Eye caps. Need, uh... I don't need a scalpel just yet. There's that thing. The needles are up here. Let me see them choppers. I wish I go right into her eyes. All right. All right, now we gotta do her neck. Scalpel. What was that? Anybody watching me? Last time, apparently, I missed a couple uh, people watching me. <laughs> no? What are we doing? Oh, I gotta do the fluids. How do I gotta do that first? Here's the other two. And apparently I'm using that woman's blood from downstairs. Hello? Why is it all blurry? Oh, hello. Are you Valerie? Okay. So whenever my vision gets funny, there's something, an event, and there's times where I just don't know what it is. Oh, that's creepy. All right. Zip. She's been very, uh, quiet so far. Yeah, I don't think it's her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not this. I don't think it's uh, Susie here. Susie seems kind of, uh... I might be wrong. Uh, colorful packaging. Uh oh, what, what's happening? Oh, we got a leak. Oh, okay. Are we in? Oh, okay. Stay on the table? No? Okay. Can I get out? No, wh what? The hell? Hi. You did this to me. It's all your fault. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to be on the floor. It's so nasty. I don't think I cleaned it anytime soon. What was that noise? Okay, getting a little crazy. Where am I at? Uh, I am on... Okay, the cavity stuff. Okay. Oh, it's moisturizer. 
back pressed against my chair. <laughs> uh, where was that stuff at? I forget. There's a trocar. The fluid bags, where were they at? There's a tubing, that's a moisturizer. My second monitor for my OBS just scared the crap out of me because I saw my shadow over there. Okay. <laughs> Where's the fluid bag? Oh, yeah, they're below here. I can't use that here. Okay, Val. Won't hurt a bit. Because you're dead. Hopefully, because this would be horrible if you're not dead. Well, I think after the first step, um, you're dead. You wouldn't be feeling this. That's like a a nightmare for me a little bit, you know. I mean, like you know, weak like the tetrodotoxin and stuff. There we go. You're not actually dead, but you can you can't move, your heart beats really low. Yeah. And then this happens. Perfect thunder clap right there for that. Okay. Now, like, I die. I want you to put me on a table and watch me until I start smelling. And then you can do everything else. <laughs> no, yeah, I heard. I know they're probably like fake stories. There might be a couple of real ones in there. But, yeah. I would not want to be in an like, autopsy situation. And... That happens. Oh no. Ooh. That's like my number one fear. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, heights. No, check this out, okay? Now you tell me which one were you afraid of? Heights or waking up here? And not being able to tell someone, hey, I'm alive. Anyway. <laughs> a little sidetrack there. Sorry about that. What am I doing? Um, moisturizer. Okay. Gotta make her look pretty. Hold on your nose, lips, forehead. Get the eyes good. Cheek. All right. All right, Susie. Time for bed. Don't knock me around. Suzanne Hampton. Oh, I have to pull the thing out first. Hold on. All right, and we got Tim here. Hey, Tim. Nice to have you here. Well, not really nice for you, but, you know, nice to have you here. Did you die with a shock expression on your face, or is that just an angle? I guess, you know, if you die anytime, you're going to have a shock expression on your face. Especially if you're awake. It's like, no, I would. There you go. That's not too bad, is it? Yeah, you definitely look surprised. Okay, good there. Got a little bit of scab on your foot. How's your back looking? There we got a an M on your back. Interesting. Mark Polar fan? Hey. Right. Okay. Timothy Galvin, 36. Tusion, right shoulder, right leg. Three and three. One, two, three. Submit. Alright. Why does that light have to be red, by the way? Hey, right back. 
Okay, I thought it was something on the floor. I'm really waiting for that picture to change. The first time I played it, I'm like, that's creepy. It's going to do something in the game for it. It hasn't done anything yet, but I'm waiting for it. It really looks creepy. Okay. Wire your mouth shut so you can't talk to me anymore. Well, you haven't actually said a word, so. This one might be a little bit uh, tricky. Because none of them have given me strong signs that they're the possessed one. Drawer out. Is it you? Seriously. Did I just laugh and say seriously? I wonder if it's Jake. Because he came out of the drawer. If not, this one's really tricky. The other ones, at least, you know, they had mark. Okay, it's you. I was literally going to say, they had marks on them and stuff. Yeah, he has a, a little bit of a ouchie there that wasn't there earlier. That's probably what they do, you know. Oh, he was possessed, so we had to burn him. Not that we've messed up his uh, embalming procedures or anything like that. No. Can't hold anything else. Why? What do I have? Oh, I don't need that. What am I doing? I need a uh, scalpel. What's the match for? I wonder. Do I need the match to light the the cream? No, I hit the button. Watching all the corners now. All right. No, 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 no. Well, I said you. That's not. No, I'm not going. I hate you. Please, don't. Wait, didn't we do this? This just seems familiar. I thought we did this in the first episode, didn't we? I miss you so much. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't want to be you. Maybe not. I don't remember this, but I don't have the best memory in the world. Somebody, get me out of here! They're gonna. You can't remember that. They're gonna kill me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, you uh, stay in there. Antidepressants. 
Okay. Am I going? Do I take these? I can't take them. Okay. So I, I guess I go here. Ah. There's keys over here. Keys. The high risk. Yeah, this is not familiar. Okay, maybe I didn't do this. Oh, I don't know. I'm okay living here. Okay, never mind. I don't know what the hell that noise was back behind me, but I'm not dealing with that. I'd rather deal with the shadow man. I'm sitting here holding your coin right now. Wondering if I'll ever have one of those. One of my own. What would the point even be? Even if one day I'm sitting here holding my own, no matter how many years are printed on it, I would still always have yours in my other hand, never changing, stuck forever. It would always remind me of the life I cut short while I keep going. Can't imagine it. Ten year coin. Oh. There isn't a day I don't think about you. Memories will flash into my mind, uninvited, in a moment of bliss, torn down by unimaginable guilt. Nothing they give me helps. I still have your necklace. It's one of the few things they let me keep in here. I'm not sure I can handle having it anywhere, though. I'm giving it to Grandma when she visits next. I want so badly to have a piece of you with me, but I'm afraid of it. I don't deserve it. You told me that when I was a little... When I was little... I would put it around your neck every morning as a way to make wake you up. I guess kids just like shiny things and annoying their parents. I don't really remember it much. I just remember you being annoyed with me after the hundredth time, but I would give anything to put it around your neck one last time to see you wake up. That's sad. And yeah, this is not the answer. I have numbers down in the description if you have any issues, uh, please call them. Okay, can I have it? I bet I need to put that in her hand. Oh! I thought about how I was going to write this over and over. Paper after paper, thrown away. Then I realized it doesn't matter. Who's going to read this? Well, apparently we are. Uh, some nurse who will shake their head and move on. Oh, that's sad. Someday someone will think of me for the last time and I'll be gone like I should be. Moment after moment, I've wasted. I lost you because it was selfish. I never listened and it killed you. I ruined everything on my own, my one real accomplishment. I can't do it anymore. I can't stay here pretending I want to be better. The truth is, I've given up. I gave up the moment I killed you. I don't want to be part of this anymore. I don't want to cause you any more pain. I'm sorry, Grandma. I tried. I really did. Please know you're everything to me. You were all I had left and it meant the world to me. You de deserve so much more than to worry about what Rebecca is doing to herself now. Life is better without me. I love you. I'll be all right. Yeah. If you have any thoughts like these or anything like that, I have numbers. Like I just said in a few moments ago, please call somebody. There's always someone out there to reach out to. Anyway, I'm not going to have a gun. But yeah, call somebody. There's always somebody to help. And there's always people that care. Um, now what? Wish I could cut her down. Can I do that? Oh, I killed! You should have died when you had the chance. <laughs> okay. What is that noise? Is that me that makes that weird cracking noise? Like I'm slowly- is that me like being possessed? Is that what that's supposed to be? Hold on, I'll prop that zippy up. There you go. 
Uh, fill one. Okay. It's definitely you, buddy. I know. I know it's you. All right, we got the trucker. We got the bag. Yeah, we're good. actually go there we go okay we got a cleaner machine yeah oh well the door open again at least this one was closed okay i thought her eyes were open matter because we're not burning that one okay so I'll need those yet next thing is the yeah moisturizer can I do that now no That mush, that thing on your forehead. All right. All right. I'll burn you with the this. Rebecca, it's me. It's your grandma. I had that closed. I need you to let me lose. Wait, I could actually let her in. I don't think I'm gonna do that because I feel like that'd be like a don't you game over me, situation. Me? It? I'm so close. I don't want. I don't want to risk it. It's so cold out of here. I don't think I will. Would you like some eye caps or a trocar? Let me, you little bitch. Okay. You're wrong, you know. I don't think I am. Wait, where's the thing? Where is it? Did it just glitch out? Oh no, did I Did I break it? Do I need to like go back a checkpoint or something? I guess we're gonna find out. I mean it did just say I was wrong, you know, so maybe it's there, I just can't see it. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have put it there while grandma was in the window. I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. Cause I mean, it did say uh, you're wrong, you know, so maybe it's there. Like I said, you can't see it for some reason. Okay. Found a little bug, but okay, it's going in there. So I think it, it was on his body yet.
It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. Uh, Raymond? I suppose a first name basis is in order. D did I make it? Is it no. over? For now. It's never really over. No, it didn't Come work. Come a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad I'm here. I think we have to try this again. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Yeah, we're Every getting the same ending where I, I fail. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've it was just probably Jake. been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you... Oh, no. You didn't use the mark. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking idiot! So the game doesn't know that I used the mark. Worthless. Watch your foolish boy. And drink it as nuts from your pit up a frame. I like the little leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is there a checkpoint? Yeah, because I got the same ending three or five. So I think it checkpoints whenever I put the body on the table. Oh, there's no checkpoint system. All right, so I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to try it again, but we got the same end again, but there's some new scares in here, some new stuff I haven't seen. Um, the next time we do it, I might not, you know, read through all the text again because it's in this one. But yeah, this one's got me pretty good a few times and we got some new lore. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one go, but I'm, you'll be seeing this one and the next one. I'm gonna try it again. Um, see how that goes. But anyway, thank you for watching, and hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one. Maybe we'll get that one right. Bye.